Lieutenant General Pecos Kutesa represented the army in the 10th parliament between 2016 and 2021. On Tuesday, he died at the Max Hospital in New Delhi, India, where he had been admitted. Members of parliament have regarded him as a hero and a revolutionist. He wrote a book that gave us the story, the insight of what they went through. We are so saddened, but on the other hand, we are grateful that at least he liberated the country and we are enjoying the fruits of that liberation. He's the kind of person that would want to emulate in terms of liberating our country, starting from where he has left to putting our country to another level. We are together with him on the Committee of National Economy for the last five years. And uh, he was a very hardworking man, but above all, he was a very humble and a very down-to-earth man. Uh, he was very, very resourceful in many aspects and always very, very advisory to some of us who are fairly new members in the parliament. Other MPs praised his personality. You would meet him in the corridors of parliament. He joked with everybody around. And if you never found him in uniform and you never knew his, his history and who he was, you, you, you'd never know that he was a soldier. So we have lost uh, a, a fighter, but a simple man who was a very good uh, citizen, who interacted with everybody, respective of where you came from. He was a peace-loving person. He was very humble and outgoing. He interacted with all of us, although we were not at the same rank as uh, in the army, but as members of parliament, we worked as colleagues and uh, really we shall miss him. Kutesa recently retired from the armed forces. In January last year, he represented the army at the funeral service of fellow Bush war hero, Colonel Oliver Zizinga at Namirembe Cathedral. <laughs> Lieutenant General Kutesa emphasized the cordial relationship the participants in the liberation war enjoyed, even after some broke away into opposition members. Lieutenant Jeno Kutesa also participated in a six day trek through the jungle when President Museveni chose to retrace their footsteps from Galamba in Wakiso to Birembo in Mubende, where the National Resistance Army fought a fierce battle to overthrow Obote's regime. We had an interaction with Kutesa when he was beginning the trek. You see that the people here, the diversity of tribes and the welfare is a bit much better than it was. The houses you see, like that one, when you're there, they have not searched there. And the hospitality was much more. Trusting. But now, because of uh, new breeds of people, that place we passed is called We followed him up the end of the journey and had another interview. When a car is going at 60 miles per hour, sick as I see, to be limited down here, calculate it. How many footsteps? You take in, in, an hour, in a minute. Kutesa died at the age of 65. Patrick Senyondo, NTV.